Here is how you determine the equation for your sine curve. Okay, step one, what you want to do is look at the lowest and highest points that your curve ever reaches. So we have a low point of negative five and a high point of positive nine. We need to find the middle of those two. If you can't do it by inspection, then just add those two together and you'll get four. Cut that in half and you'll get two. So the midpoint should be at two. And upon inspection, this should have been obvious. Okay, this line at two bisects my curve vertically. So I switch over and I change this to a D value of two. Okay, once I have my midline established, I then want to get my amplitude, the distance to the highest point. My midline is at two, my highest is at nine, so I have to go up by 7. Change my A value to a 7. Now I have my A and my D. I now want to do C. With C, think about a Ferris wheel going around with a zero point along the x-axis. If you start at the highest point, that's pi over 2. If you start at the lowest point, that would be 3 pi over 2. And if you start in the middle heading down, that would just be pi. In this case, we are starting in the middle going down, so that is a phase shift of pi. The final thing we want to determine is our B value, or frequency of this thing. So what we're going to do is count cycles. One cycle two cycles, three cycles, and I'm going to stop counting because now I'm at an even time, which is two seconds. So I go three cycles in two seconds, which is a frequency of 1.5. 1.5 cycles every second. So I come over here, and I would do two pi times my frequency, two pi times 1.5. I submit that, and you'll see I get an answer directly on top of the original line. If you want to try more, click on the next button. Again, start with the D value. Find your bisecting line. In this case, it's a four. How far is it from that bisecting line to the top? Well, from four to eight, that's another four. Then you want to look, where do I start? I start at the highest point, that's pi over two. I want my frequency, so I count cycles. I went one cycle in one second, that's a frequency of 1. So I should have 4, 4, pi over 2, and a frequency of 1. If you get one of these wrong, so if you just uh, mess it up for some reason, it will show you the curve that you entered, and you can see how it is different from your original curve. I hope this helped.